It's the Ryan Podcast. This is the Wednesday, June 21st edition. You know, for me, every day starts with disappointment. Why is that? At least every work day like starts with disappointment. when you wake up or what? When I get here. When you arrive. When I arrive, I'm the first person in the building. And then what I do every morning, turn off the alarm and walk up to the front desk because I'm the first person here every morning. The, the mail from the previous day is sitting on the front desk. Mm-hmm. Almost every day, there's multiple packages. Stuff. Every day I look at them. I don't know why I look at them every day because never once are they for me. Never. They're never for you. No. Not, not a once. Well, okay. We have gotten maybe like twice in the entire things. history, the years I've worked here. I've gotten one. I've gotten a couple gifts from listeners, but I don't even need gifts. I just want. Are you I just begging wanna, for gifts right now? I just want to come in and have a package with my name on it because it'd be so exciting. But every day I come in and it's always for Karen. Is it for Karen? Karen every time. Karen, Karen does work in our office. She does a great job. She does Karen. a lot of stuff. I don't even know what she does. It's stuff that I could probably never do. Um, and every day she has uh, oftentimes multiple packages waiting for her on the counter here. And I don't know what's in them. I don't even know. I'm sure whatever's in them, if I got it, I'd actually probably be disappointed. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's probably like pamphlets. It's probably more work for her. It's probably, yeah, that's right. It's probably just stuff that she didn't even ask for that was sent that's like from some other business trying to get her to do something, you know, like that kind of stuff. But I don't care. I just would feel nice to get mail with my name on it. See, is really what I want. I love mail. There's yeah. not a lot of feelings that are better than receiving mail. But recently, I received mail at my house regularly, uh-huh. as most adults do, right? Yeah. Yesterday, I, I received a letter in the mail from good old uh, AEP, the electric Uh-oh. company. Yeah. It says, if you don't pay this amount of money by Ju- July 11th, your electric will be shut off. No! <laughs> you got to that? Yeah. Which I usually get there about every every three months or so. Oh, yeah. I get that letter. Well, it is summer. The summertime, probably using the air conditioning more. Yeah, the, a- the price is going to go up. It's going to... Heard a little more to pay it. I, yeah, I get so that. Do you get those? You get those letters too. The disconnect notice. Yeah, the disconnect. Oh notice. yeah, of okay, course I do. Making sure. I didn't know if I was the only one that did You'd that. You think I would have figured it out? I always. I've never had it disconnected. I had it do yeah. one time. <laughs> I've definitely got disconnect notices. This is before. the thing too. This is funny. My my roommate. So I'm the one who's in charge of paying all the bills, right? Yeah. And then he Venmo's me, and every other bill is auto pay. Which I mm-hmm. like auto pay. It just goes. Take it. Just take my money. Yeah. Just do it every month, whatever. Uh-huh. For whatever reason, my electric bill, I can't set up auto pay. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, okay. And I've tried. Okay. So you got a good reason. Yeah. And so every time I'm late, I'm late every time. <laughs> and my roommates, the last time I was, for somehow, our thing was like, I think it was like $400 uh-huh. for electric. It had built up over the course of a couple months. And I Venmo requested. How did you miss a couple months? What are you talking about? I have, there's like a three month, or I think it's three or four months that you can go without paying it, and it just adds up. Yeah, right? And then yeah. there's like, a, then there's like a late fee of like ten dollars or something like that. Worth it. Always <laughs> worth it. Even though I could just pay it every yeah, month. Yeah, right. You could just um, set a reminder. It's the same yes. time every month. And so my roommates, I Venmo request him, right? I'm like electric, two hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> And he goes, he texts me, he's like, what is this? Like, what in the world is, why is it so high? Because I don't tell him that, I mean, he thinks I pay it every month. Mm -hmm. And that I just forget to Venmo him. And so I told him, I was like, hey, I was like, I was like, I paid it. I just realized that I hadn't requested you for a couple months. Oh, okay. So I went back and and added him up and this is how much you owe me. And then he was like, it'd be nice if you just charged me every month. That way, it I'm not to make this one that time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. Huh? Well, I don't know how much it is because I don't pay it every month. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if I did, I would. I would charge you. But yes, that's my. Are you uh, rolling my in mail thing. the late fee to his bed? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm the one who pays for it. I'm in charge of all the stress. Yeah. So if there's a late fee, then that you just soak that. That's the stress. And he wants fee. to be in charge of of the bills and stuff. Yeah. He can be. See how he does with it. Yeah, exactly. But I'm taking on the burden of having to pay all that. I get the every couple of months. I get that disconnect fee. Or that disconnection notice, yeah. and that's just stress on me. Now I know I have a countdown of what's today. Today's what, the 21st? Oh, you probably got about like... I got 20 days yeah. until my electric goes down. That's, so. that's crazy. So that's the only mail I'm getting right now, disconnection notice. Yeah, that's, as you become more and more of an adult, the, I think mail gets less fun. Yeah, because I'm just because getting Because it's these, usually nothing good. Yeah. It's usually either junk mail or that. So are you in notice. charge of paying 
all the stuff. Yeah, you're in, you're in charge of the bills mm-hmm, at the mm-hmm. house. I'm the paying bill, that. the bill guy. You pretty responsible with it, or? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of stay on top of it most of the time. You ever had a big Usually. mess up? No, no big mess ups ever. Mm, I don't know. We've gotten we've had some close calls. I'll say. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? My internet got cut off once because no, didn't. it didn't. Internet? Yeah. Uh huh. That's so fun. And actually, you know what? I have a. <laughs> now it feels it's starting to feel like I just don't pay the bills on time. But uh, <laughs> my phone also, me and my wife's phone no, have both been phone. cut off. Yeah, but that one's so like it's like twenty five bucks or yeah. whatever. It's a cheaper bill whatever. and it's just so easy to just. I just don't. I don't like doing auto pay. So oh, you don't? I, I, pl- I play a little more fast and loose with deadlines. Mm, I love auto pay. But I know the. I, let me put it this way: I know the bills that uh, the deadlines you can't miss. Oh, you don't want to miss them. Yeah, yeah. I, my AT&T is one of them because they will charge you to turn your internet back, back on. on. Yeah. Back on. That's what you don't want. Yeah, I called my, uh, well, the first time that I didn't pay, <laughs> the first time I didn't pay my electric bill or whatever, I get a, I, 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 my electric goes off. I come home, it's off. No. So what do I do? I call my <laughs> landlord. I call my landlord. I'm like, hey, man, I'm like, <laughs> my electricity's off. I don't know if it's like, if this is something you need to fix or mm-hmm. what the deal is. Um, he, and it's not raining or storming or anything. And so then he like calls me back. He's like, "There's no reason for your electric to be off. Uh-huh. Like, did you pay and stuff?" And no joke, this is I've been living in the house for probably a month at this point, and so I hadn't paid anything. And I go, <laughs> I, and I go, "No, I haven't. I haven't paid. I haven't paid a single bill yet." Yeah. And so then I had to call uh, the AEP or whatever oh, the electric company. So embarrassing. Get it restarted again, uh, which obviously I had to pay the late fee and just charge my roommate twice that month. So dang, grand times <laughs> not paying your bills. Yeah, Love doing that. I uh, I know that um, for me, I've never had internet and phone is the only thing I've had cut off. But the water bill, does, they don't cut off your water if you don't pay it. The water bill is super easy to miss because it only comes every three months. And I miss it just about every time. Every time. But then it that is the only one that notifies my landlord when. Oh, that's the worst. I don't that's pay double it. That is the worst. So, yeah, so then he is like, uh, and, he, and he goes, you know, you can set up alerts so that it... <laughs> So, I was like, okay, You're I like, still miss right, them. David. I, they go to my email, and I don't look at my email. Roger, take it easy on me, all right? Yeah. Things have been tight. It's not like... Am they I paying the, you? The water doesn't even charge a fee to pay yeah. it late. I might as well just not pay it and see what happens. Did I pay for rent or not? I yeah. paid for it, didn't I? Do I need water? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. You're, yeah, right, maybe I just don't need it. We're not, we're not doing water this month, all right? I know this is Things a, are tight. a long intro, but going back to mail, do you ever buy stuff in the mail, uh, like online, that you could just as easily... Buy in the store, but you just want to have a package to open. Ooh, like when Amazon comes. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Whenever I see an Amazon good. package, I'm so, so excited. Yeah, I've got it's a the couple. the greatest feeling. I actually have a couple things I have purchased online recently that I'm waiting for. I can't oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's the Such best. Such a rush. And it's almost better when it's not Amazon because Amazon, you know, is coming in like 24 hours. Mm-hmm. The best is when you order something and it's like it might come in two weeks. Like you get something from China. It's a little bit cheaper, right? Yeah. And then maybe it's two weeks. Maybe it's a month. But it it's just a shows And the tracking doesn't even work. <laughs> yeah. You can't even track it online, and then it just shows up one day, and you're just hyped. That's the yeah. best feeling. All right. If you made it through this whole intro, congratulations to you. Um, we got a great show coming up for you, and then I'll let you know tomorrow is Choice Champions Thursday. Me and Isaiah drafting the worst types of guys to hang out with. The worst type of men. Oh, if you've, got a, worse. If you've got a suggestion, a worst type of guy, you can think of 8772-RADIO-U, and we'll catch you next time. See you guys. We're not sure who behaves worse. The riot or their dogs. I don't even know how to behave like a real human being. The riot. Radio U. I like your shirt, buddy. Hey, thank you. you Are those oranges? They are oranges. You're Uh pulling the collared shirt back, huh? feel really... uh, Is that new? It is new. Uh No, it's not. Is that a new new, shirt? Yeah, it's for summertime. Ah, it's exciting. Doesn't it feel summery? It does look summery. Yeah, it looks exciting. What? If I was to ask you, if I was to show you this shirt, what venue do you think it'd be appropriate for? Like, where would you expect to see this shirt mm. out and about? See, there's there's actually a specific place, a place huh? that I could see it being worn. Yeah, which is like there's this place that's like by like a lake. Okay, they do like live music. Yeah, and a lot of like. Older people hang out there. Oh, okay. And like, I could see a bunch of dads wearing that exact collared shirt. Oh, it's a, a dad shirt, you'd say. You think. I, I, think, I think all collared shirts are. And so mm. no matter what collared shirt you have on or I have on, yeah. it's going to feel dad-esque. Like if you go to the golf course, you see somebody in a collared shirt, yeah. it feels dad-esque. And so that looks like one that someone would wear to the lake to hear their favorite like 
Razzy jazz band. You think in like, uh, is it is it Jimmy Buffetty? Mm-hmm, it yeah, is. Yeah, Margarita Billy. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, I, I mean, uh, I'm okay with that because it's summertime, so I'm trying to get you know. Yeah, real you get chill the oranges vibes, popping out. You know? I like yeah, it. Like it looks good. Bright, sunny, feel good. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. He- you look like you'd for. be happy in that shirt. That's what that's, you look like. That's what I wanted. You I look want, like you'd I want be clothes real happy. that make me and others happy. Yeah, it's like a vacation shirt almost. It's like touching that's the border. That's what I was thinking. It's like the borderline vacation shirt. Like I, you're going to the lake. You're going somewhere. And you pull out that shirt that you never wear all year long. Uh-huh. But all of a sudden, when you're on vacation, that's a shirt you bring out. Yeah, that's actually, I thought about that when I got this shirt. I was like, after Labor Day, this one's got to gotta slide back in the closet for a while. Oh, because yeah. Because it won't feel right around uh, if I went to Thanksgiving dinner in this. Definitely no. would not be for everybody. Add a little riot to your Instagram feed. Follow at Radio U Official. The Riot. Radio U. I've got some great news. Let's hear it. Astronomers at the University of Birmingham, I believe that's in the UK, they've discovered a new, I guess it would be called an exoplanet. An exoplanet. They've discovered a new, it's really a planet, but somehow they say that this planet is unique. It actually orbits two stars it has like two suns instead of just one that's pretty cool that is kind of like a figure eight style that's what i was wondering if that's how it works that'd be Um, a cool way to to travel around space yeah what if earth had two suns and like sometimes we were in between them so you could see both oh on both sides And sometimes then we'd be on one side and you'd only see one sun that would do a number on daylight savings that would really confuse that would really mess things up yeah eh? uh so i don't know if this is a planet that uh really would be considered being lived on but it's pretty cool uh, the name of the planet, you may be wondering, they've called it, uh, Bebop 1. Actually, let me be completely accurate. Bebop 1C. Bebop 1C. Yeah. Not the best name. You don't think so? Bebop? It's pretty fun. Bebop? Yeah. I don't know if a planet's name should be fun. Bebop? Wouldn't it be better if Earth had a fun name? Earth is so boring. But Earth sounds like legit, though. Bebop 1 sounds kind of fake. Sounds like we're making fun of it. Bebop. Maybe it was named by a robot. Which, uh, which planet are you from? I'm from Bebop. Bebop. Yeah, we like to groove. Sounds like you were we making like, fun of you. We like to dance. Like if we found aliens and they're like, oh yeah, they're from the planet Bebop 1. Uh, you think I'd be intimidated? I don't know if, no. I, if I'd be intimidated, but it sounds realistic to me. Mm, that I don't sounds know like something. One. It doesn't sound like something an alien would name a planet. It sounds like something an alien, like a sound they would make is what it sounds like. Yeah. Or maybe a robot. So in their language... I guess it could be. It might be real. Like, it might mean something. Is that how like, we're naming, naming planets now? Yeah, it could be like. Off of alien sounds? It could mean bringer of death in the alien Ooh, language. Or I guess, something I like guess that. so. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, you want to know what it actually means, the name? Yeah. Uh, it says that it's named after the name of the project that collected the data, uh, which is Bebop. And that is, that stands for binaries escorted by orbiting planets. See, I feel like it, we could do better. So what would you name it then? I have a, a myriad of planet names that I would, okay. I would pick first. Let's I hear think it. the first one, this is based off a movie, uh-huh. So, but I think it'd be a cool name for a planet. Yeah. Like if I were to move planets, I would move to Titan. Titan's pretty cool. Isn't that a good name? That's already that's, taken. That's where Thanos is from. Yeah, but it's also... Is that, is that a planet name, a real one? It's a moon. Is it actually? Yeah, well, that's one of the biggest moons. It might even be the biggest. The some, biggest. Some are saying it's the biggest moon of all. I think it's the it's biggest either, moon of all time. It's either it's either Jupiter or Saturn, one of their many 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 moons. Well, thanks for ruining that for me. Yeah, but there's other options. I'm sure. I could go. What about just truth? Truth. I'm from Truth. The planet Truth. The planet Truth. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? That does sound that pretty good. That could be in a movie, huh? Uh, there's no reason why we can't rename Earth, is there? No, we could. What if we just... Because Earth stands for what? Like dirt? I don't even... Yeah, I I think guess. it is. I don't know who decided, actually, that, that Earth needs to be called Earth. And if we were going to rename Earth as like a city that's already here, uh huh. What, what, which one would you pick? Do you have one off the top of your head? Like a, like a city? Yeah, like a city that's already here, and we're going to name Earth after because the city's name is so good. Because um, the first one that comes to mind for me, mm-hmm. we have a radio use station there. Good old Kalamazoo. We don't have a station there. We don't have a station in Kalamazoo? No, we don't. I know we have some up there in Michigan. I know it's around, around you there somewhere. You're saying that you would be intimidated by aliens from playing a bebop, 
But if we were starting to traverse the galaxy and be like, hey, I'm from Kalamazoo. Then that's not such a good name. No, that's a it fun doesn't. name to say. Oh, Kalamazoo. It just was, rolls off the tongue like that. I was thinking like um, something like Lichtenstein or something. Lichtenstein. Yeah. That sounds a little pretty, more aggressive, I guess. It does, yeah. All right. Uh, well, Bebop 1C, it's a new planet. It borders two, uh, uh, orbits two stars. I think it's pretty impressive. Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com. I've got a survey of how many of how much money you need to have for people to think you're wealthy. How much do you think the average American, how much money you think they consider, oh, you're a wealthy person? Hmm. I would say. Or what would you say? What would I say? Yeah, I mean, what's your answer? I mean, my number is much lower, I think, than the average American. You think so? Yeah, because I think that I don't have to be that rich to feel rich, you know? Yeah. Because I don't ask for all that much. Like, I don't need a mansion. Yeah. I don't need a boat to uh-huh. feel rich. I think I could feel rich off of a lot less money. Um, but I would say people used to say it's like a million. Like, a million felt like a lot of money before. Yeah. And now inflation, all that jazz. It's got to be more than that. I'm going to go 1.6. 1. 1. Six, you really seven, seven, seven. One point seven. One point seven. If you got that much money, you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty I'm, hot. Yeah. You feel set. You think you feel set if you have oh, one point yeah, I mean, seven? If you, if you have that in your bank account right now, I mean you're feeling pretty good about oh, any I'd purchase feel, you make. I'd feel amazing. Yeah. Uh I'll tell you, this is actually really interesting that the average American says that someone else needs to have two point two million dollars to feel wealthy. So you, if I was the average American, and we're talking about you, in my eyes, you would need $2.2 million for me to think you're a wealthy person. Mm. You, you've got just $2 million, you're not wealthy, in my eyes, as think, the average American. I think I could give it a shot. You think give so? Give me two mil. Let's see if I feel wealthy or not. Yeah. Let me try. Uh, see if, no, see if we think you're wealthy. True. Uh, but, see, this is interesting, because what you say actually kind of lines up with the survey because people who themselves felt wealthy had an average of $560,000. That's the average. That means there's people with less than $560,000 that feel wealthy, mm. consider themselves wealthy. Interesting. That, that's a good thought. I think, like, when I think of wealthy, mm-hmm. that's like you don't need to know the cost of anything before you purchase it. Like yeah. anything that you buy, uh-huh. it doesn't matter how much it costs, you can just buy it. I think being, like, well off is, like, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. But I think being wealthy is, like, you don't even care. Like, you're not worried about any purchase that you make. You generally. No matter how big, you can just make it. You can just buy whatever you want. But I, I don't know because, yeah, I think if you got to, like, let's say you have a million dollars. I think I would feel wealthy at a million dollars. But that's still not enough to just be buying a Lamborghini. No. Off the, you you know. can't hot dog that much, you know? No, you, you'd have to still be reasonable, I think, at $1 million. But uh, you know what? I'd love to find out. I would love to find I'd out. I'd love to give it a rep. Like, give me, like, yeah. a weekend where I can just Actually, spend as much as I want. let's do an experiment. Let's do this experiment. This Charles Schwab is the one that conducted this survey. I think they should do this experiment. Give me, uh, continue to give me more money, and then I'll tell you at what point when I get to the point where I feel like I'm wealthy. Yeah, that, I, think I think that's pretty scientific. I think because I don't buy a lot of things that are very expensive. Uh-huh. And so when I think of my own rule, which is if you're wealthy, that means that you don't need to know the cost of something before you purchase it. Yeah. No matter how big your purchase is. I feel like I could do that off of a lot less money because I don't buy anything that's all that expensive. Uh-huh. And so I feel like you give me a lot less money and not even tell me how much I have. And I would be fine for a while. Do you think if you were wealthy, do you think you would still eat the same or do you think you'd improve, you know? Like, would you still be buying Kroger brand stuff or? Mm, that's a good question. If I think, you had $2.2 million. I think I would still eat the same. I think I would just go out to eat more. That's what would happen. Yeah. I'd probably start door dashing. That's what I would do. <laughs> I would just door dash all the time if I had $100 billion. The only thing Isaiah loves more than the riot is himself. Someone who probably still lives with his mother and hates himself. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. Talking most embarrassing injuries after someone on The Price is Right uh, dislocated their shoulder while celebrating, which honestly, I mean, it's embarrassing to celebrate so hard that you injure yourself. It happens from time to time. But uh, when you get all, this, all the wins that come with it, if you're celebrating, I think it's, it's not so bad. 
Um, my most, one of my most embarrassing injuries, the most embarrassing public injury is I had a chair. I was going to sit down with a bunch of friends and whatever, and, uh, going to sit down and the chair, like I missed the chair and fell back and hit my, the back of my head on the table and it chopped my ear open so bad Uh. that I had to get eight stitches in my ear. That's embarrassing. That was pretty embarrassing. Were there people there? Yeah, it was with everybody around. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, then a bunch you just of my look friends. Like a goof. You look like a goof. Yeah, that was, uh, everybody was like, you know, because uh, I was, it was in public and I was kind of like being a little gremlin anyways, like just kind of being annoying because I was probably like 11 when this happened. Oh, okay, it's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wasn't uh, like a, I'm, I'm imagining like grown up Hudson, not like no, little kid Hudson. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's better than this. I was like 11. I was being a goof anyways. And then I, I go and, you know, bringing attention to myself. But then it's finally like, all right, I'll sit down. I'll stop being annoying. And I go to sit down and miss the the chair and hit my head. And at first everybody's like, Hudson, just stop. Come on. And then they're like, actually, wait, your ear, like your ears. I didn't even feel like that. It, and then I stuck my hand back and felt oh, the blood. my ear hanging off in two different Ew. pieces. It was pretty bad. Uh, how about this one from Stephanie? She said, I burned myself with an iron trying to make pancakes in my bedroom. Ooh. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That is a rough one. Uh, I also- we got two. We got two Stephanies. Okay. Because we also had Stephanie text in and said, "Good morning. I pulled a muscle in my hand while changing my son's diaper." That's Ooh. How do you do that? At least your son was the only one there, though. Yeah. If that was in public, it would have been more. You could, and you could make stuff up for that. Yeah. Like you, when somebody asks, "How did Sounds you? Like pretty what's that thing changing. on your hand?" Yeah. Were you going for like a speed record yeah, or something? That's what I'm thinking. I have Pierre here who texted in. He says, I sneezed in the shower and hit my head against the wall hard enough to knock myself out. Oh, that's so that's I dangerous. Was, I was found that way. Oh, naked. Was, yeah. Naked Ugh. showering. That's tough. <laughs> that's, I wonder who found that's him. Brutal. That's the real question. Yeah. Uh, Justin texted in. I used to have a sales job where I would meet with customers individually. And every once in a while, I would get a bloody nose during the sales pitch. A bloody nose is pretty embarrassing. But that's like a low-key embarrassing one. Yeah. Because I think it's just kind of gross. Like, if you get a bloody nose in front of somebody, like, you just look kind of gross. It does. And then it gets all over your shirt and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I have another bad one for myself. This is a more private injury. Is uh, or like it was a private situation. Nobody saw this happen, but it's still embarrassing. I had uh, my washing machine. This is more recent washing machine filled with water like it wouldn't a uh, drain. So I was taking it apart trying to get the leak solved. Right. But uh, or get the non drainage solved. I'm taking it apart. And uh, in the process, I wind up making it so that all the water starts leaking all over. The- it, st- it drained the washing machine drained. But then it starts getting all over the floor. And so I'm tr- panicking, trying to like figure out, okay, I got to stop all this water from getting all over the basement floor. And in that process, I cut my finger wide open. Oh, that stinks. My fingers cut wide open. Not bad enough to need scissors, but just a wide open uh, cut. cut. And then, so now I'm bleeding all over the place. I've decided that that's more important than the water all over the place because the water's basically it's already everywhere anyways it's over yeah so i gotta go find a band-aid i gotta go find something to stop my finger from bleeding everywhere but also i'm wet so then i'm like all right i'll take off my clothes i was home alone and so now <laughs> I'm, now i'm naked looking for a band-aid and then That's I have to, embarrassing. yeah that was pretty bad so yeah we had uh last two trevor t- texted in he said that he was trying to impress some girls when he was at camp he said, I tried to use his brand new pair of Heelys down the hill. Oh. Ended up turning his elbow into a meat crayon, is what he said. Oh, Took a two could spill there. And then we also had Heelys. Jay. More, more trouble than they're worth. Oh, big time. Uh, Jay said, when I was 28, we had a baby gate with hinges blocking off the kitchen. And instead of opening the gate, I decided to step over it and cop my pinky toe on the top. Lost my balance. Fell forward, breaking my toe and pulling oh, my groin. Pulled groin on, on a baby, baby gate. gate. Oh, that's never a good look. Brutal. Add a little riot to your Instagram feed. Follow at Radio U Official. The Riot. Radio U. Check this out. You know that uh, you ever used a bidet? Never, but I've seen it. Uh, I've never used it. Mm-hmm. I have squirted it before. You've squirted a bidet. Yeah. But you didn't personally use it but on I yourself. I didn't use it, no. I was, just, I was afraid. Yeah, I haven't. I don't know if I, I don't think I have. Have but you ever I've, seen one? 
I'm not sure that They're I have. They're pretty powerful. I'm not sure that I was aware if I did, but I'll tell you that I'm obviously familiar with them, and I've yearned for a bidet. Oh, you want one? Huh? I would love a bidet. One of my friends has one, so uh -huh. if you ever want to give it a shot before you buy it, uh huh. Try you before can, you, you buy. You can go over to her, her place, and I, I can then introduce you guys, and you can use her bidet. I would love to have. That's to get the a, only one I've ever squirted. So do, I would love to do a little test run. It was pretty powerful. With the bidet, like shockingly powerful. But would you be uncomfortable? Like it's one thing using a public toilet, right? Using a toilet that other people have used. You think it would be a little more uncomfortable to use a bidet that others have used? I don't know, because a bidet is so hands-free, you know? It is hands-free, but also it doesn't feel that way yeah, to me. Yeah, it feels pretty intimate, eh? It does. Yeah, exactly. It feels does. a little intimate. Um, but at the same time, yet again, it's supposed to be hands-free. Well, I've got a opportunity for you if you're interested in a used bidet. And this isn't just Wait, any... Wait, is this Craigslist? Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> this isn't just any used bidet. This is a bidet used by... Pop stars Jay-Z and Beyonce, maybe you've heard of them. Oh, familiar. They, their used bidet, uh, a bidet that was very likely, in fact, almost certainly used by Beyonce and Jay-Z and who knows who else they had over to their house in Holmby Hills. It's a mansion that they rented back in uh, 2015. It's now been cleared out. And so the salvage company that has cleared out that that rental property uh, obviously it's it's they've taken a bunch of stuff out including a bidet also sconces exterior exterior lights large metal door frame but most importantly a bidet that is now for sale for about twenty four hundred dollars on ebay it's pretty expensive. It must be a nice bidet. It's got gold colored handles. Ah, oh, uh -huh. so, so a pretty bougie bidet. Is oh, that yeah, this isn't just any bidet. It's, yeah, especially because it was also Jay Z and Beyonce. Does that drive out the price, though? It has to, right? You think so, a little bit. I imagine. Because I'm looking at other bidets, and they're not nearly this expensive. No, and the thing about this, actually, is that with a, a toilet, you can't sell a used toilet. There's no chance. Nobody buys a used toilet. If they need a new toilet, they go get a new one. They don't want some one a toilet that's been in somebody else's home that they've used for all sorts of types of different things. That's fair. And a bidet is part of a toilet. So it is a toilet, really. So Is it the full toilet or just the it, bidet? I think it's the whole thing. The whole thing. I think so it's you're getting toilet included. and bidet. I think so. I think it God, all comes I didn't together. know if it was just bidet. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's the entire apparatus. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, a yeah. full toilet. Yeah, this is a full thing. So you, but what I'm saying is, if this was just an average used bidet, it wouldn't resell at all. It'd go straight to the garbage. I would mm. have to think. But since it was used by Jay Z and Beyonce, now it's more expensive than an average bidet, and definitely more sought after than a used bidet that anybody else would have used. Uh, yes, yeah, that's for sure true. I, I agree with you there. I think if it was just the bidet they were selling, then that would be different. All right, let me put it this way. Is there anybody, anybody's no. used bidet where you'd be like, actually, I'm intrigued. No. Sign me up. Zero I'll take percent it. chance. I'll take it. I'm too scared to even use a bidet, yeah. let alone somebody else's. Yeah. I couldn't even do that. The only thing Isaiah loves more than the riot is himself. Someone who probably still lives with his mother and hates himself. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. When you think of the country of Finland, what comes to mind? I've got three things. What do you have? The Finnish. The Finnish. How about Finley? Um, what is that? Finley. Finley. Yeah, Finley. But what is that? What do you mean? It's in the capital city. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. There has, there has to be a, a city there called, called Finley. Finley. In Finland. Uh, There's would, no way. I'd, I'd put, be surprised. I'd put my life savings on it. There's I've, no way there I've isn't. got three actual things that actually are Finnish things that come to mind. One, the sauna. Oh, they, the sauna. They love this the sauna. This is the happy there. place. This is the happy place. Yep. Uh, that was the third one. Uh, the second one I was going to say is their prime minister. I think many would consider her the hottest world leader is she i think she is let yeah. me look i mean i'm not, not i don't know all the world leaders so i don't know enough to say but i just what's think she, she called has, the prime minister yeah i think so maybe president the leader of finland people say she's attractive she is she's attractive yeah more attractive than the standard world leader 
Uh, but the happiness, the happiness is what we're talking about here. And uh, Finland is, in fact, so happy, which is great that they, they wouldn't it be amazing if our reputation was the United States? We're just so happy. But that's not us. It's Finland. And they're so happy that uh, now in Finland, they're teaching a master class on how to be happy like they are in Finland. Mm, I wonder what they teach. Well, do, you go, do you go there? Oddly Who's enough, teaching it, you know? I think uh, it's at a resort. The average Joe's of there? And I believe that the sauna actually gets included. Does it? Yeah, that's actually a part of it. It sounds like a fun little camp of just happy things. Yeah. You just sit in the sauna. It does sound like a good time. Uh, and I think I would like to learn. I mean, I would like to experience the sauna. I'd like to learn how to be happy like they are in Finland. Um, but if but let's think about this. Let's be realistic. In the United States, what are we known for? What kind of master class could we teach the rest of the world? See, I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. And so I went ahead and, and just Googled it. Okay. Because like it's what hard. Ideas? To, it's hard when you live here to know like what we're known mm. for, you know. But I want to see an outsider's you know, perspective. At least if you've not traveled abroad. Yeah, I want to know what an outsider's perspective is of like what we're known for. The number one thing that came up, you're never gonna believe this: hot dogs. <laughs> That's what the United it's States number is known one. For. Number one was. How hot could dogs. we even teach a master class about hot dogs? I'll I tell don't you, know. if somebody was gonna teach it, it'd be me. Sign yeah. me up. I'll be thought. I'll be the professor of that one. Um, there were some other ones. Music mm -hmm. was one of the top ones. Talk about music. We American, do have a good music scene in the United States for sure. American football. Yeah, they no, know that no we're big country on that. does football like the does real football like the United States. The rest of the list still, is kind of crappy. The world could learn a lot from us, like like locations and things like that. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have the Grand Canyon. We're not teaching a master class. How about like? I think it's not on the list, but I think people think that we're kind of, we're kind of thick. Thick? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the one that came to mind for me was overeating. Yeah. Like how to just enjoy food as much I, as possible. I think. We how could much food can you eat in one sitting? And just eating more than you actually need. And like fast food wise, I feel like we're a big fast food place. We mm -hmm. gotta be right. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's a pretty, a, a pretty good skill. I also thought if you go to another country, what do they think about the United States? They think of us as cowboys. Really? Hillbillies, I think. So maybe we Country. could teach. Yeah, we could teach people how to, you know, uh, make moonshine and, and lasso a pig. Wineries was a big one, too. So. Wineries. Wineries, really? yeah. No I mean, that. I can think of at least two other countries that come to mind before us. Hey, you that. know what? I'm just, I'm just throwing out what's Reading on the, the list. list. Reading the list. I don't um, know. But yeah, those are some of the things that I, that I found. Yeah, you the know, overeating. For being, being such a, a big and successful country, I'd say, you'd think we'd have more to offer the world than hot dogs and wineries oh you want to know what we can teach him a master class on, yeah. on how to be powerful that's how that's we do right. it <laughs> how to throw your weight around maybe a little bit of um of a little bit of a country pride we're pretty prideful we are very we patriotic uh -huh. oh yeah we, we love it here we eat it up so i mean those are some of the some of the things that we could teach others about. yeah they, there's a lot the world could learn a lot from us i'll say that disinformation mispronunciations bad impressions that's hudson this is the riot on radio U. The question today is, would you rather be way super into yoga or super into karate? Like where you're taking classes basically every day, yoga or karate. This is uh, because today is International Yoga Day. Big day for some. Big it, day for some. It is a big day. Text in your thoughts. Would you rather be a yoga person, a super? It's This isn't just like... Oh, you, you do yoga from time to time. This is people know you. Every day. You are known as a yoga person or a karate person. Text into 8772 Radio U. Would you rather Wednesday? Um, Isaiah, you ever done either yoga or karate, first I've of all? I've never done either. I've never done either. Have you? I can't say that I've... I've never gone to a yoga or karate class. I've... I've... In workouts at home, done a little bit of yoga, I would say. I think it qualifies as yoga. Okay. Um, but I also, I don't know enough about yoga to really know the difference between what's just stretching and what's and yoga. And what's yoga? Yeah, I don't know where you cross the line into it being yoga. So this is more of like, we're thinking pros and cons. Uh-huh. That's where we're weighing those. So like the yeah. pros of doing yoga, the pros of doing karate, and then con-wise, we're thinking like, you're the karate guy, you're the yoga gal, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you're going there every day. 
And so do you want to be doing karate every day mm-hmm. and have everybody know you as Karate Gal? Or do you want to go to yoga every day and have everybody know you be yoga as Yoga guy. guy? Yeah. 8772 Radio U for Would You Rather Wednesday. Would you rather be a yoga person or a karate person? Do you have an early lean here? Do you, See, have, you have you have fully formed thoughts? I, I'm thinking about pros here because mm-hmm. there's pros on both sides. Yoga pros, you're going to be flexible. I think your body's going to feel good. Mm -hmm. If you do yoga every day, I think people that do yoga all the time, their body's feeling good. Karate, on the other hand, that's Uh self-defense. You're putting yourself in a position where you're able to possibly fight somebody off. I mean, if you're big into karate, Mm -hmm. we're talking black belt stuff here. Yeah. You might might as well be a ninja. I I guess. (laughs) I don't know. I feel like there's some, I don't want to say unimpressive, but I feel like there's some people that have like really high up belts in karate that you wouldn't suspect. And so you still probably wouldn't be that intimidated, you know? Yeah. But knowing that you, you can do it though. Cause you I'm taking on my, myself, my own physical acclaim. And I'm thinking about if I was a black belt in karate, what does that give me? You know, yeah. hopefully some good stuff. Uh, but right. on the other side, yoga, I think it'd make you feel good. Yeah. I, I definitely know my answer. Uh, and we're getting some people text in. Would you rather Wednesday? Would you rather be, Super into karate or super into yoga. Let us know. We'll get to some answers next. You won't hear a show like this anywhere else. And that's probably for the best. The worst of the riot. Radio U. Would you rather be into yoga, like super into it, or would you rather be way into karate? Because those are, they're both, they're similar, but they're so different. So, so different. 8772 Radio U, text in with your answer. I'll tell you that Becca says karate is her choice. She says, great workout, fast paced, so I don't get bored. And uh, also comes with defense skills. That's a good pro. Yep, that's a good, uh, that's some sound reasoning there. Justin just says he's old enough that he thinks yoga would make him feel better. Yoga so, feels pretty good for you. Yeah. It feels like your body would just would feel just better as a, as a whole. Being more flexible, I think, just makes you feel better. Um, Chad texted in. He says, if yoga could give him the powers of Dalsam from Street Fighter, then he'd go with that. But otherwise, karate. Karate it is. <laughs> yeah. And Regi- Regina says, going with yoga. Yoga. Yeah. I'm with it. What are you I came going up with? with my answer. You got I your went answer? back and forth on this. Yeah. But now, after thinking longer, I'm going with yoga. And I have good That's reason. That's not what why. I expected. This you not didn't what I expect yoga? No, I didn't. So listen, this is why I'm going yoga. The reason I'm going, I've got two different reasons okay. I'm going yoga. Number one, I've never been flexible in my life. Okay. And I feel like yoga would benefit me more than karate would. Okay. Um, I'm not a fighter. I've never been a fighter. Yeah. More of a talker. I'm more of a lover. I'm not much of a fighter. Yeah. But the other reason I'm going yoga is because I know a lot of girls that do yoga. <laughs> And know a lot of women that love yoga, and yet again, it would be a talking point for me, uh, and maybe I'd meet my wife at yoga. I'm not going to meet my wife at karate. I'll tell you that much. You don't think so? I'm not going to meet my but wife listen. at karate. I'm going to meet my wife at yoga. I think that's more my style um, of woman, too, I would say, if I had to guess. I know a lot of women who do yoga. Uh, that would be a better place for me to meet a gal rather than karate. And I don't think that I, yet again, as a person... I don't think I would look cool doing karate. Yeah. I don't think I'd be very good at it. Where yoga, I could see myself maybe being a little bit better at it. I mean, I'd be the only guy in there. There'd be like 29 women, and I'd probably be the only dude in there. I think uh, there's more guys doing yoga than you think, but that is, it's a very on brand answer for you. Isn't that a good on brand answer? Uh, I really thought you were going to go karate. I, ever since we devised this question, knew I was taking yoga as well. Really? Yeah. I'm definitely yoga. Uh, What's your one, reasoning? I've got a lot of good reasons. One, better outfits. Oh, outfits. I'm sorry to karate people, but like to to wear that robe and whatever, that's not for me. Some people look cool in it. Yeah. You would not. Not me. Yeah. Definitely not me. Yoga, however, you get me in some some uh, like leggings. I think I could really shine. Oh, you think that would look I better think for so. you? Yeah. I now I now I can't decide which one I think you would look better at. Oh, definitely yoga. I'm going um, back and forth now. Secondly, karate. I know that like both of them kind of exercise your mind a little bit, but realistically, I think yoga would be a better better exercise for my mind because I'm a. I may not sound like it, but I'm a very frantic individual, very mm, anxious. This could bring you bring you down. A I little. need to be I need to be calmed. 
internally. And I think yoga would help me with that. And uh, I just think it would benefit me more to be like stretchy, to be flexible, uh, where karate, I'm not going to like, what are the odds that one day I'm going to be out and about and I ever have to use my karate skills? It's low. It's low. It's real low. Uh, so I just don't think it would help me out that much to do karate. I mean, I'm sure it'd be better than just sitting at home on the it'd couch. It'd be good exercise. It would be talkies, good exercise. But I don't think it would be more beneficial to me in my day-to-day life than yoga. And karate just feels like more work to me. It feels like a lot of work. Yoga yeah. feels like it could be relaxing. I know yoga is hard, though. I know it's yeah, hard. No, yeah, you, you, you pull a sweat in there. I think the worst thing would be... Being like going to karate every day and then having to use it and like still getting beat I'll, up. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'd rather do karate for the first time though than do yoga for the first time. Ooh. Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com. Roblox. What do you Familiar? think of when you think of Roblox? Roblox. I think of little, I think of younger kids. Yeah. They love Roblox. Uh huh. Kids are into Roblox. Um, but Roblox wants that to change. Roblox isn't just for kids. I mean, you can use it at any age. Yeah. Um, but Roblox is about to get a little more adult. Oh. Roblox is about to get a little more risque. Risque Roblox. A little more, um, a little more dirty. No, it's not. It is. Roblox is not. It is about to get a little more naughty. It's about to get a, <laughs> a little... Roblox. You gotta quit it with that. Uh, Roblox is about to get a little more mature. You sound like Ron Burgundy from Anchorman <laughs> right now. That's what your voice sounds like, and I need it to move on. What, what, what's so bad about it? What are Ro- they doing? Roblox is adding a <laughs> new side of Roblox that you will only be able to access if you're over 17, and you have to actually prove it. This isn't just like, Oh, I'll just lie and say I'm 17 when I'm actually 14, and then I can access the adult side of Roblox. (laughs) This is, you have to verify it with your driver's license. So there shouldn't be, it's like a facial verification thing with driver's licenses. So you shouldn't be able to just grab your mom's license or something unless you look really adult and really similar to your mom. But what does this mean? What is the, uh, the 17 and up part of Roblox going to include things like heavy bloodshed. Okay. Alcohol use. Mm-hmm. And um, romantic uh, story. Uh, oh, you can do eh. rom- romantic themes, uh, but no nudity uh, and no content that depicts sexual activity or seeks real world romantic relationships. So it's adult, but it's not. Adult, adult. It's not risque, risque. It's more just like risque. But it's risque by Roblox standards where they've, I mean, I guess since their inception, they've been seen as this thing that's for for younger kids, for maybe tweens, some would call them. Yeah, I always tweens. hated, I always hate, I didn't want to be called a tween when I was a tween. That's such a, it feels so I don't so know what insulting. age group that is. I'll, I'll just it's, throw out there. What's that, between the ages of nine and 14? I think uh, so, yeah. Like not mm-hmm. quite a, not quite a teen. Yeah, it's a tween. And when you're not quite a, t- a teen, all you want to be is a it's teen. It's a teen. Yeah. yeah so being so called right. a tween is so insulting. So the but, ages of but, 17 and 24, also the largest age group that's been growing the most on Roblox. They're already. It's working. Yeah, adults are already. I guess maybe that's the tweens growing up into teens, growing up into adults. Mm, yeah. And they're sticking with Roblox. Or maybe it's adults that want something that's always been a little more, uh, a little more squeaky clean. But now that's not going to be so squeaky clean anymore. Now that there's all that bloodshed. And bloodshed and alcohol. In use. Roblox. I mean, you got to get it on some of that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Roblox, a, a whole new side. It's changing. It's got to change what you think about Roblox forever from here yeah. on out. We're not sure who behaves worse. The riot or their dogs. I don't even know how to behave like a real human being. The riot. Radio you. What I heard yesterday that made my head spin. What was I, that? I heard that the average therapy session is over, it costs over $100 for one session. That's expensive. That is expensive. And granted, I did hear that from a commercial for therapy. It was uh, cheap or something? That was cheaper. Uh, so there's at least yeah. some cheaper options. Okay. But still, uh, you talk about $100 per session, let's say. That's, that's the average. 
And then you talk about you don't just get one therapy session, right? No, you get multiple. You got to keep going back over and over and a over times, again. You know? Who can who can afford that? Especially if you're somebody who you are, you're struggling. You're like, man, I really need some help. I need something. Therapy? Oh, it's a hundred dollars a session. I can't afford that. Who can? Right? I mean, that's, that's expensive. A, that's a lot. Not to mention the fact that a lot of times, even the people that are the biggest proponents of therapy would say, "Well." I had to go through a couple therapists before I found the one that was right for me. Oh, true. People say that. That's a lot of I've hassle. And there are some people, I, I don't want people to mishear this. I'm not saying you shouldn't get therapy. I think in most cases, very, very helpful. Um, but it's not always helpful. There are some, I mean, I don't know it's detrimental, but there's definitely people who would say, yeah, I went to therapy. Didn't do that much for me. It doesn't help. It doesn't, every therapy session doesn't work for everybody. So all I, when I think of all that, I think there's got to be, an, another way there's got to be in addition to therapy in uh, to supplement therapy there's got to be something else that you can do that's not as expensive that's not as much of a hassle there is it's uh it's talking to god god is a therapist that's there for you 24 7 he's free and uh, you can keep going back as much as you need it over and over and over again and uh, I mean, let's be honest too. When you're talking therapy, once money enters into the equation, like that just changes the whole the whole dynamic. Anyways, now you have a person who's getting paid to listen to you. God will do it for free because He loves you because He cares about you. Jesus is ready to do that for you. Maybe you need therapy. Maybe that'll help. But maybe maybe what you need right now is just to talk to God to let Jesus help you out with your struggles with whatever you're dealing with and help Him point you to the avenues that will help you the most. Do you want to know more? First of all, start talking to God. Give him a chance to talk to you. You can also go to RadioU.com slash free gift. That's enough of that. For more Riot content, head to Riot.RadioU.com.